Yasser Atra says, today I wanted to ask about the Chromebook. How is it compared to a laptop? Excellent question, and it's a good one to, to kind of close on uh, because we are going to have to wrap things up here. The Chromebook is a browser. That's all it is. That's all it is, and everybody, and, and the Android fanboys got a little frustrated with me today because, face it, sorry guys, Android isn't good for everybody. Just like the Chromebook isn't good for everybody. Just like the iPhone isn't good for everybody. Just like the Android whole series of devices isn't good for everybody. The laptop, PC, not good for everybody. Windows, not good for everybody. Ubuntu, not good for everybody. But this is the awesome age of technology we live in right now, and it's related to your Chromebook question, by the way. We are living in a personal technology, I call it the personal technology generation. It is an awesome generation to be consuming technology right now. Why? Because everybody in the development world is competing with each other feverishly for our attention and our money. And so the best part about technology is that you can literally go out and find exactly what you need to do exactly what you want to do. And that is why I love the technology we're in right now. The Chromebook is the perfect example of that. I had an iPad. I loved my iPad. Turned out it wasn't good for me. Why? Because I did most of my web development through the browser, and I needed a browser. And let's face it, the browser experience for tablets leaves a lot to be desired. And so then the Chromebook came out, and I said, hey, this thing has an integrated browser. Let's see if it'll work for me. And so I did what I call the Chromebook test. It's the litmus test. And a bunch of people have heard me talk about this on my show before. The Chromebook test is easy. You download Google Chrome, the browser. Okay? You try to do everything that you would want to do from a mobile device just from that browser for an entire week, maybe even two weeks, depending on how much you're weighing your options here. Which means that every time you come across a need, like you need to do a Word document, or you need to do a PDF, or you need to edit photos, or whatever, it means you go to the Chrome Web Store, and you download a Chrome app to do that job, and you see if it does the job adequately. And so over the period of two weeks, you're going to find out if you can survive inside of a browser only, inside the Chrome browser only. If after two weeks, you find that you can live within a browser, the Chromebook is perfect for you. If you find out that after two weeks, I just cannot live without X, I just cannot live without Y, then the Chromebook is not for you. It's that simple. It's the Chromebook test. It's what I always tell people to try out if they're considering a Chromebook, and that's what I did. I did it for two weeks, and I was a little upset. I couldn't use some software. I can't use my Adobe software. I can't use Microsoft Word, but you know what? Google Docs is good enough for me gets the job done. Pixlr is a great Adobe Photoshop alternative. You use it right in your browser. And so I ended up going to the Chrome Web Store, finding alternatives. Awesome. Found all kinds of awesome alternatives out there. Didn't even know they existed. And so I ended up getting the Chromebook and was shocked at how much I got done now because now I've got my browser. I can go in. I can do all the normal stuff I do on Google+, on Facebook, and MySpace, your space, our space, their space, who's ever space. I can do my run my entire business WordPress site from a Chromebook. 